Oh man, I jumped in the queue real quick. Oh my god, where's Kerwit? Where's Kerwit? I think Hunter just snuck in. Oh man, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a minute to see if Kerwit shows up for this Boros Reckoner. You can view the packs in your pool. Click on this. Oh wow, that's wild. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, 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 twelve. Oh wow, that's super cool. That's super cool. Alright, well I got a minute and forty eight, so let's figure out what we're taking. Like we could take Yeah, I think we're just taking Boros Reckoner anyway, because it's cool. And probably just Sky Knight Legionnaire. Well, Boros Reckoner's white or red, and not necessarily both. Hmm, I still think this is probably the best pack after that in the pack. Oh, Light of the Legion is bonkers. That's real sweet. take a light of the legion hmm. two two for two cruiser gets plus oh plus one oh probably gateway plaza let's just take the gateway plaza shrieking grotesque Probably not terrible. Shrieking Grotesque and Orzhov Signet seem pretty good. We can just focus on Mardu. Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. Oh, Augur Spree. And Hellhole Flailer, which I remember not being terrible. 3-2 with Unleash. So 3-2 for 3 at the very least, or 4-3 for 3. Kerwood, I took this specifically for you in the hopes that you would show up. So, that's for you, buddy. I was like, man, I hope Kerwood shows up. Also, explosive impacts, five damage to any targets, pretty decent. Justice Strike is pretty solid. So is Command the Storm. So is Direct Current. I think we're definitely taking Justice Strike. Um, yeah, Command the Storm seems better than Direct Current. Showstopper until the end of turn creature you control game when this creature dies, deals damage target creature and opponent controls. Eh. 3-1 Flying First Strike, eh. Profit and Loss, eh. This pack is not super exciting. Hmm.
Uh, I'm never going to take a clue stone deliberately because I think they're terrible. So I think we're just taking profit and loss. And probably just hedging on an Azorius Guildgate in case you want to splash a blue. I don't think any of this, anything else in this pack is good. I'm really kind of... <laughs> I'm good on three drops for now, I think. Oh, another Azorius Guildgate for our pleasure. We can cast Release. Each player sacrifices an artifact, creature, or enchantment, a land, and a planeswalker. Unflinching Courage is pretty great. Tithe Drinker seems awesome. Let's take a Tithe Drinker. And maybe just take another Desori Skilled Gate here. Boros Garrison on color. Nice. Also a Disembowel. That's pretty sweet. Um, Yeah, let's just take Disembowel here. That seems great. Wow, our deck's looking sweet so far. This pack seems pretty bad for us. Sunspire Gatekeepers. Could be. We have two Guild Gates so far. Didn't I also take a... I could have sworn I took a gate. Like one of the multicolor gates. I forgot what they're called. That is Mike putting dishes away. He's very loud. Um, this pack's pretty bad for us. Punish the, oh, actually, Punish the Enemy's good. Okay, we can take a Punish the Enemy. I'm really trying hard not to be four colors here, guys. I'm really... I'm really giving it my all. I'll just take Gatekeepers because maybe we play it. Oh, Breeding Pool. Orzhov Guildgate. That's on color. Bringing a trial could be fine. I kind of like Senate Griffin here. I think there's a big Senate Griffin in Orzov Guildgate. Oh, I like that Shrunk corrected Boros to girls. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, yeah, Guildgate's good for us. Oh, Senate Griffin is what was taken. Boy, that's the second time that's happened. I mean, I'm glad it was on Senate Griffin so I could take it, but... Uh, one three with extort. When it enters battlefield, you may pay an amount of life. Target opponent reveals that many cards in their hand. You choose one of them in exile. I think I love prophetic prism in this format. Another Orzov Guildgate. What does Wrecking Ogre do? It's like a Blood Rush guy, right? Plus three, plus three, and double strike. That's actually pretty. Oh, Hunter is farting pretty badly. After the draft, I'm gonna take him out. I don't know the last time these guys went out. Um, I'm going to take Wrecking Ogre. And... Probably Prism? I mean, eh, Guildgate's actually real good. We can get more Guildgates. I think we're less likely to get Prisms, and Prisms also help our, our fixing here. Rakdos Carnarium and Rakdos Signet in the same pack. And Starbuster Sacrifice 2 attacking creature. That's not bad. I also really like Rakdos Explitter, but we're definitely not passing a Carnarium. <sighs> Probably also taking a Signet. On, two on-color Signets is super, super nice. Uh, Imperial Oligarch is sweet. Ill-gotten Inheritance is also real sweet. You just drop it on the board. Yeah, I'm taking Inheritance, because I think if we can get two of these, it's actually real strong. And we'll just take a Rakdos Guild Gate. We already have 18 playables, and we have five packs left. We can also play Profit and Loss, too, so. Uh, another Shriek and Grotesque seems great. 
So does another Orzhov Signet. I guess we're just taking both of those. Nothing else is super impressive. Signets for days. Uh, Legion Guild Mage. Tapping a creature or deal three damage to each opponent. Not terrible. Hmm. I mean, that and like Collar the Culprit are basically the, the only two reasonable picks in this pack. I don't think Dowser is good. I don't think we're going to play another Guild Gate. Loxanon Restore is meh. Demotion is fine, but it's still with some attack, so I'm not like... Three, this and two more packs. Minister seems great. Hmm. Eh, we're just taking Minister for sure. Eh, I don't know. This pack's pretty... Macabre Waltz, I guess, is fine. That pack not having even a second good card, and it was pretty rough. Face Fetters is great. I think we're 100% taking Face Fetters. And Boros Fury Shield. Uh, for all damage, combat damage, that will be attacking or blocking creature. If, if red was spent, it deals damage to that creature's controller. Equal to its power. We can take a Pulse of Research, play it off our guild gate. I think we're definitely taking Face Fetters. Played over Call of the Culprit, I would imagine. And eh, just not impressed with any of these cards. Maybe like Smash. I mean, Demir House card was good in Old Limited. I'll take a Demir House card, sure. And our last pack Sky Knight Legionnaire number two could be real sweet. Two different arts as well. Yeah, I'll take that. And probably Fiery Conclusion. Five damage to a creature. I mean, if we're staying on three colors. Yeah, all right. Sure. This deck's actually surprisingly low to the ground here. I might actually want them a Cobalt because we don't have a ton of top end. I could bust that fiery conclusion on my Boros Reckoner. This is 24 cards. I think we actually might not need the Prism. And one of the Signets. Probably just played Demir House Guard, right? I can get Prism out, one Signet out. Because, like, what are we ramping into? Like, play House Guard, play Macabre Waltz. Oh, what up, Tiger Nate? One, two, three, four. Only four lands. But we are going to play 16 because we have Guild Gates. So. so, this is five. Sort by color. This is actually easier than most because it's only three colors instead of four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, four, five, six, seven. That seems okay. I can actually probably cut a black for a red because we, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, we have only single black cards. We have double white. Uh, and we also have several early red white cards. I think. 
I think that's correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seems fine. Oh, we also got one more. So I guess I could just add that. That swamp after all. All right, that seems sweet. All right, let's do it. Um, yeah, there's a snap keep. The question is, I think we just start with Shrieking Grotesque, right? Because either way, they're just going to attack for two. Maybe? Eh. Sand seems great as far as aggressive hands go that are possible. Ooh, bounce that guild gate. And then I got a discard too. Oof. Eh, we'll play this guy. What does this do with Wrecking Ogre? So, 10 damage? It's pretty good. Discard two cards. Okie dokie. That. Sure. Mind Rot is pretty fascinating. Thank you! So, we kill them 10, put them to 8. Plus, punish the enemy puts them to five, essentially. Can we deal an extra five? Miro Trem, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the Prime sub, buddy. Welcome back. Or do I just play this guy as a 3 3, which feels worse? God, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not. I'm just going to play it. They kind of have to have an answer for it. I mean, they will because it's Ravnica, but, you know. I at least want to feel like I made them have the answer for it. Yep, that's what I figured. It is definitely the plane of the answers. <laughs> Man, this format has more answers than... When there's Battlefield, real cards from the time and say real land, sure. That's a pretty good hit. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's get back Sky Knight and Shrieking Grotesque, I think. Discard Justice Strike. Attack for four. Okay, so, well, we're not attacking anymore. Whenever it attacks, you return an artifact creature enchantment from your graveyard to your hand. It's very good. Artifact, creature, or enchantment. So basically only Balustrade Spy right now. So we attack with all three. 
They go to three. They get back Balustrade Spy next turn. But they have no cards. They just play Balustrade Spy. They have two blockers. I think we have to do this. I think we just have to get them to a point. Like, they attack, they they play... So whenever what? Whenever it deals... Whenever it attacks. Okay, so they're just going to attack. Play Spy. Go up to four. Have a blocker. And if we draw any removal spell for a flyer, they die? I mean, you know... Ideally. And they instantly paid five for it. <laughs> they know what's up. Alright. Removal one time. Wow, that is a lot of fucking cards. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus. Incredible. It's starting to feel like I should have just wrecking over them, but... What can you do? Wow. Augur Spree gone, Face Fetters gone, Light of the Legion gone. Justice Strike, Punish, Command, Disembowel. They've had four removal spells. Cool. Seems good. I kind of like Conclusion here because they do have Pillory. It's going to happen. We'll see. Dang it, Guildgate. Oh, it's so obnoxious. Why couldn't that be last turn? Like, now it means we can just play Boros Reckoner and not do anything next turn without, like, a swamp. That's pretty annoying. <sighs> Boros Reckoner. Let me guess, you're going to hit 15 cards? Two cards, one of which is a last cast. Oh, they target themselves? That's kind of weird. Shut up and take my money! Is that an accident? Kerwin with the 10 Reckoner bucks! I appreciate you, buddy. Oh man, we got Boros Reckoner and we got a hit in. Why did they target themselves with Last Gasp? I'm really confused.
If you kill the OP with Reckoner and say the day of Reckoning is at hand. <laughs> oh yeah, that thing's dead. We just gotta hit a land, I guess. Oh, no attacks. Interesting. Hmm. What up, Belong to Joe? I wish you had trampled though. Oh, you want two red from this? Okay, hold on. So much, so much wasted damage. I mean, I could have just played Light of the Legion, actually. Maybe that would have been better. How much did they deal? Six? Yeah, we're just going to face with that. Oh, it's four? Oh, the power. Sure. Sure, that's frustratingly good. So we know one of their last two cards is the Thrall, the stupid idiot. The six mana dude? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So next time we can play both of these, and if we hit a land, actually, this probably just kills them, right? Like they take two in the air, they go to five. Shut up and take my money. Supreme Stiff, blind alternating picks with either Katie or Mike, whoever is available. Ghost of the Sun, buddy. I appreciate it. This actually seems very possible. Seems like a thing we can do. They go to five here. Hmm. Well, let's play everything then. One, two, three, four. This guy. And then white. Nope. Black, red, white. Hellhole Flare with the intent to unleash. Boros Garrison. Bounce of Planes. So they're at five. They get Balustrade Spy back. Spy? Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, no 
of blocks. I mean, if they want to spend their turn going to six and playing Balustrade Spy, that's fine, I think. Oh, they're going to play something else. That's completely going to kill us because they just play this stupid X spell. Seems good. Sure. Can this... There we go. Wow, that was... That was something. One, two, three. I mean, like, we can just deal them three and deal them three if they don't have the... Do 14 damage to someone. Nope, nope, that's... Eh, that's that doesn't get them out of it yet. Cool. Nice top decks. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, boy. Just thought I hadn't given you our one year anniversary present. Ghost of the Sun, I appreciate it, buddy. You got it. Be sure to hit 15 cards before you hit a land. Oh, just one land? Love it. Alright, we're both in top deck mode. It's actually not bad when they're at six, but I mean they have to play a creature we can kill with it, I guess. So what can we transmute this into? One, two, three. Senate Griffin? Is Senate Griffin better? This guy has fear. I'm just gonna cast it. Like, if they have removal, like they're just gonna be able to kill whatever we get anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Mm. It is too bad I don't have Boros Reckoner in play. I agree with you. Yep, that's a good one. Feel like we're doing it. We're trying. He's going the distance. Thank you. He's going for speed. Oh, what up, so salty? Really appreciate it, my dude. Man. Top decks are so real. <sighs> okay, well, their top decks are not as real, so. Ha! Does that do it? Got him. That's how you do it. That's how you get there. That's how you do it. Yeah. There you go. All right, let me uh, let me denote this uh, sweet stipulation. Ghost of the sun. He's going for speed. This hand seems bad. Yeah, this seems better. <laughs> At least we got a two drop, am I right? Kind of like that. He's going the distance. Because we have a uh, turn two and a turn three play, I'm trying to put the most pressure as possible. 
Oh my god! Oh, well, that didn't work. <sighs> wow, that was pretty bad. Well, I guess we can just go Signet here. Never mind about that whole pressure thing. <laughs> I'm just, just kidding. I'll take things that would never happen in real life for 400, Alex. S what is F6ing through your main phase? Okay, that was actually kind of good for us because it was only a two for one. And like, donuts. I don't even know what that donut command is, to be honest with you. So it's like six and you have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well making three three centaurs is pretty sweet. Not being able to play my fucking cards is pretty sweet. Love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, that was when I'm like, the donuts. I know what that command is now. I'm just going to concede. Like, this is kind of bullshit, but... Oh, well. Sometimes your opponent has fucking board wipe, pernicious deed, and limited, and you can't hit a fourth land. So, what can you do but enjoy magic for all of its skill-intensive plays? That did go poorly, you're right. I agree. 16 lands with two, uh, what do you call them? Two bounce lands and two signets. I would assume I would draw more mana sources, but magic's hard, man. Eh? There it is. That's what we're talking about. That's what Father likes. That's what Father likes. The good times, the bad times. Mill, yeah, you mill those, that Rhizome Lurcher, that Patagia Viper, and that land that you put on top. Rogue's Passage. Signet, Signet. Boros wrecking her again? Oh boy. Well. What up, top boss? I'm tempted to block. I really don't think this this guy's gonna do much do us much in this early game. And like three for two is not like we're not gonna win that race. So I don't want to sit here and sit on like. Well, plus we have Macaw Waltz in hand, so trading off seems fine. That's actually pretty good because now we can go like this. We can reckon him and play Rakdos a Guild Gato. Cart, we're doing it. The eagle has landed.
Are they trying to figure out how to kill Boros Reckoner? I know, buddy. It's tricky. You got Swamp? I'll block. Okay. I mean, that's a two for one, so I'm not really too concerned with it. Plus, again, Macaw Bolts get it back. Not a big deal. If we hit a land here, it's pretty easy. We can just play land, discard planes, and then get back two creatures. But yeah, I mean, like, if you're going to two for one yourself to get rid of a Reckoner, then that's fine. They haven't played a Swamp yet, or any land for that matter. Oh, they also have Macabre Waltz. They got back the Lurcher and the Patagio Viper. Okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. That was a good turn. Hmm. One, two, we got five mana, so we can do two things. So Lurcher is going to be five, five. That's pretty good. Well, we're definitely going to play the land here. Viper is also real sweet. I think we're just playing Minister in order to prepare for Potagio or uh, Rhizome Lurcher. So. I feel like this format definitely uh, favors control decks. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Don't really care about that, I don't think. I mean, they play Lurcher. We can kill it with Disembowel now, which is pretty sweet. So, one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Six mana card. Yeah, that's fine. This guy can't block, so we're definitely getting in there. Mm, yeah, that's fine. I like that we didn't tap this guy. That was a that was a good play by me. My mind got distracted. You know how it goes. Yep, that was just five damage that we just said here. You can have this. <sighs> yep. So, it's not a black source, so we can't Grotesque for value and keep up Augur Spree or Disembowel or Macabre Bolt. So we have five cards that want black mana, and we have drawn one black mana. I mean, theoretically we could play this without kicking it, but that seems worse. Kind of. Putrefy. Huh. I'm actually pretty convinced we should have held this land, because if we draw a swamp, we want to play that. 
and then discard the planes. But <sighs> sure. The problem is black is our bottleneck, so there's just no chance we're going to be able to kill this and kill the Rhizome Lurcher that they're going to play here. Yep, so we have to deal with that. Then we take seven, so we go to three. And then we still don't really have a great answer for the friggin' snakes. Uh, this is five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, not enough yet. Yeah, I wish we didn't take that five. That was really bad. We'd be at 15. Then we go to eight. I think this game would be totally different if that, like, again, like, it's just two mistakes that, that have been made in this in this draft that were just literally my own carelessness. But the things that wouldn't happen in real life. But what are you going to do? I mean, I can't blame him but, but myself, so. Now we go to four, unless they kill us here. Looks like they're going to kill us here. Sounds good. One, yep, again, we have seven mana, not eight, so, yep, that'll do. Yep, we auger spree this and take four, and then we die. Again, big difference between uh, four damage and four life and, and nine life. But we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight sources of black, so it shouldn't really be a bottleneck, but here we are. That is your right as an American. Yeah, I guess that's true. I will choose not to exercise my right. One land. I like it. Oh, the same exact hand. Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of Senate Griffin with no white cards. And no white mana. White mana. Like it. One time Boris Rogan was 50 in standard. Is that true? Let's play Minister here and then Boros Garrison. opponent's like man i hope he does that stupid bullshit where he doesn't 
tap my guy down again and I'll be like okay cast this guy all right let's remember to tap that that dude down Wake me up before you go go. Hunter's real grumbly right now. But he did all his business outside, so. Uh three three trample, sure. It's got scavenge though. One to this this lady. Macaw boss is nice. Gets back things. Is Arena going down right now? No. It is not. Well, we know they don't have Slaughterhorn in hand. They could have Slaughterhorn and then douse in Gloom the Light of the Legion. So we're definitely blocking one of these guys and tapping down the monitor. Plus this guy's better to have in the graveyard than this guy, so. Got a regeneration trigger, my dude. Seems good. <laughs> oh boy. Do you guys remember that time they never didn't have it? Ooh. Um, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna kill this idiot. Eh. I guess we can pass. I don't really want to discard either of these solid removal spells. Collar the Culper kills anything that they scavenge on to. And Justice Strike should also do that. But right now I think we're just blocking, striking. Sure. They milled themselves. There's been a lot of self-milling in this in this draft. I don't know what to make of it. Alright. Sure. Give me a land that I can just throw in the garbage can. Island in hand. Well, that's not it. I'm just not going to trade removal for for Macabre Waltz. We could get back one creature, but I just think like we're not in any pressure. Oh, they didn't play the island. Fascinating. I'm probably just going to take two here. Sure. What up, stupid beetle? Um, is that good enough? One, one, two, three, four. Actually, I'm just going to play it. It's good enough to play. And then we can still command the storm. Color's not going to scavenge or anything, huh? You're just going to attack me with two power creatures. Seems good. I 
Good old Lurchy. Uh, yeah, let's go this. So I know one of the cards in their hand, an island, that they have not replayed. I would not be surprised. Oh, good, we're not going to. <clears throat> I mean, I'm fine if they never just scavenge. Like, that's makes my life easier. <laughs> Seems good. Must be nice. Oh boy. This has been a hell of a draft, guys. Hell of a draft. Yep. Not our day. I, I mean, like, I don't think I don't think aggressive decks are positioned well for this format because there's so much removal and there are so many two for ones. So Boros Reckoner unfortunately led us down a path. A dark, dark path. Mm. and we take five here we go to six like there's just nothing we got like putrefy ritual of soot like patagia viper like all their cards are like two for ones and fantastic and we're like two two with haste tapper one for one the mere house guard's fine in regular Ravnica. I don't think it's great in this format. Sneeze again. <coughs> oh, thank goodness. Sometimes I feel like it's going to get stuck and I'm just, oh, fucking wonderful. I just take Rollback Rhino right over like Rhizome Lurcher, which is like a 15 15 right now. I'm not sure I understand. Like, even right now, like, what do we get back? We can, like, play. It doesn't matter. Like, this game's over. Our cards just don't match up against theirs, unfortunately. Like, we can kill this and then draw a Wrecking Ogre, which is still, like, doesn't even trade. Like, it trades with this guy, but just barely. I think our deck is good. I just don't think it's good in this format. So maybe that means it's not good. Oh wow, I'm dropping a million frames. That's fantastic. Nope, definitely not just you. That's super cool. God, I love Comcast. God, literally just dropping thousands upon thousands of frames. What can you do? I mean, I, thankfully it's enough that Magic Online is not dropping, so like I still get to keep recording this for you guys on the YouTubes, but you know, the internet's dropping, the matches are dropping, we really got nothing going for us here. Another Guildgate would be decent on turn two, like a Rakdos Guildgate, so that we can play Grotesque or Sky Knight into Sunspire Gatekeepers. That'd be pretty decent. 
let's see if we can make that happen. By make it happen, I mean draw it completely outside of our own will. We did not. Okay. Could be a red source. Hey, look at us go. Double Legionnaire seems pretty good. Uh, currently it is a 1 a.m. So neither? Boros Legion's coming for you. Oh, the Weeds are... Land, 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 land. Oh, wow. It's like they hate me. a black source I mean punish the enemy X term is three four five six seven eight nine so I mean well that is something. <sighs> oh, they just concede. That's fascinating. I don't think we beat them that badly, but Oh, what do I know? Um, this doesn't seem keepable. This seems infinitely better. God, mulliganing with a bounce land is just like the best. We're also going to go turn two, signet, turn three, flailer into carnarium. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to do a speed test after this match and we'll see what's up. Josh, maybe we'll play your deck if the internet's working well. If it's not too late for you. Let's say no blocks because all your guys are flyers anyway. Yep. Oof, both these both these one one twos are getting in there. And you're gonna take four on the crackback? I am surprised. Five mana. Do, do, do. Plus three, plus O, and can attack. Fascinating. I kind of just want to kill one of these. We'll see what happens. Sure. Here we go. It's all happening. Four, five, six, seven. Nope, eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, we should have punished in response. That would have been good. <gasps> now we're punishing for sure. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, because if we didn't, like, they could jump start and... Is it sorcery? Oh, it's sorcery. So never mind. We were actually fine. Never mind. So we take seven. But now we have, like... What do we take next turn? One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven again. Uh, Man, I wish I had the Wrecking Ball guy. That'd be 14 damage. That's pretty wild. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If we had one more mana, we could actually do my house card into a... Um, what do you call it? You know what I'm saying. This is 4, 5, 6... And to have face fetters. Oh man, I wish we had mana to extort here. That's life. I mean, what is this? Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have to go blue, blue. Yeah, I think we might be dead here. Yep, that'll probably do it. Yep, and then maximize altitude. Seems good. If only we had a flyer. Cool. <laughs> Face Fetter's next card. Seems good. And I feel like we're just bringing this in. Also, apparently my channel's extremely freaking out right now, so. Um, God, double white again? Jesus, come on. Mulligan again. Wish you were Carnarium. Actually cancel that pitch of waltz. Yeah, this is like our worst. This has been our worst Ravnica draft, unfortunately. But I think our record has been very, very good so far. So I'm not super concerned. Unfortunate, but, you know. Now our Sunkeeper Guild Mages are online or wherever they are. Legion War Boss. Oh boy. Well, I guess we're punishing that guy. Yep, another fucking land. Got it. Old Cyclone. Oh, it's the Reckoner. Can't actually play with that comically enough. We have red, red. White, white, white. Let's play another red. Yeah. 
Yeah, at this point, we're just literally streaming for the sake of uh, YouTube. <laughs> this is just for the YouTube video because uh, there's basically no stream happening right now due to the internet. Wow, fantastic draws. I, I can't see how we're losing this. OBS finally disconnected manually. Yep, Boris reckon I get in there. Play a land. We know Macabre Waltz is on the bottom, so we don't really have to hold lands to discard. Meanwhile, if we draw like Demir House Guard, we might want to transmute it, so. Oh, OBS connected re re successfully. Even though it's still dropping. Hundreds of frames. Yep, they have four cards in hand. Hmm. Seems good. Pretty sure these don't count as two spells for the Cyclops because. That is not how replicate works, but cool, super cool. So one, two, three to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana sources. Fucking sweet. Fucking sweet, dude. I guess we'll just hold back because. I mean, maximum altitude probably just kills us, right? <laughs> plus four, plus, plus, plus eight, plus oh. Plus eight, plus two, I guess. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Flying damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. Give that dude float. Well, if that's all you're doing, it's fine, I guess. Another problem is that like uh the Bor the the Mardu deck let's say does not have a ton of card advantage so you're basically at the mercy of like whatever you draw. Hmm. Something happening here. Like if they had a removal spell, I don't know why they wouldn't have removed my guy last turn and then attacked with their guys. So. Seems amazing. <sighs> We've also dropped 65% of our frames, which is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> Not even a real number. Yep. Oh, yes, they put a counter on it. That's even better. Well, they have less power on board now, but they could also just pump this guy to oblivion because they got to surveil four. Draw four cards to discard two. Seems good. So we take seven. It's okay, we're only at three after this. And our game one went great. Other games, not so much. Yep, all right. <laughs> we are at one. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out 
borosreckoner.com, manatraders.com, Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday for new articles. And, uh, boy, what a mess. Thank you for guys. Thank you for guys watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time.